Hey guys, it's Fulton Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today, uh, rather than open up a hobby box, which is what I typically do, uh, I am going to open up a package from eBay, and I'm going to figure out how much I paid for this, I'm going to figure out what's inside it, and uh, sort of explain my strategy with this. Typically, I open hobby boxes, retail boxes, black strip boxes, uh, but if you do, you, very often you do not get the cards that you want. So once you've sort of gotten a, spent, you know, $50 on a box, $30 on a box, <clears throat> $60 on a box, whatever you paid, what you, what you can do if you didn't get, get the card that you hit is you can go on eBay and, um, and target individual cards. Uh, so you can actually see that what I ended up getting were the Hab inks. So these are basically the same as the Maple Leaf, um, the Maple Leaf marks from the 2017 uh, season. The Maple Leafs had their centennial cards with autos, and those autos were very prevalent, are very prevalent, and they they tend to be flooding eBay and really going for almost nothing at this point. Well, the Habs had their centennial uh, cards produced by Upper Deck in 2008-2009 is, is when that particular, when those cards came out. Well, I just happened to buy a, a short lot of some of the affordable uh, inks, i.e. marks, i.e. autos, from the 2008-2009 uh, Canadian Centennial. Um, so here we go. So I have four cards here. Uh, and I believe I paid only about six dollars a card for these and these are rarer than the Leafs cards. So um, You know, that's a half decent price point. So wh who did I get? What did I get? I got Andre Kostitsin. I got Frankie Bouillon. I got Mike Komisarek Who also played with the Leafs for a hot second? He was sort of uh, we sort of dumped them to the, to dumped him to the Leafs and here is Christopher Higgins, who uh, sort of moved around the NHL a bit, um, including playing on Vancouver. So you see, you can just buy, as opposed to buying the case, if I wanted to buy one of those tins now, uh, or one of the hobby boxes, it would cost over $100. It's crazy how much these go for. And these are not the rare inks, the rare, rare autos. They're called, they're literally called inks uh, in terms of um, their, the checklist. Well, as I mentioned, the uh, 2017 Maple Leaf Centennial are called Marks, similar but different. Uh, these, I believe, are a little bit nicer look, a little bit sort of fresher, sort of crisper, sort of um, more frosted look than the uh, than the Leaf Centennial, I believe. But also these these autos are are rarer, uh, although these are some of the common autos from from this. The Montreal Canadiens, you can also get Guy Lafleur, you can get Carboneau, you can get Vinny Donfus, you can get. Uh, a lot of the old greats, uh, for example, you can get Beliveau uh, before he passed, and, and that card can go for over $200, even though his, his autograph is very, very common, certainly just sort of handwritten and scribbled onto cards. Uh, he's notorious for having, uh, Beliveau is for having, um, for drawing his autograph, writing his autograph very, very pristinely, uh, very tight. Um, he takes the time, or took the time, to always write it well. Um, not the case for some people, um, but so this is what you get on eBay. Uh, again, I believe I paid, I, I, f I feel I paid only about $6 a car for these. Uh, you can maybe get them for less, but typically the Montreal Canadiens uh, Centennial uh, ink cards, auto cards, actually start at, at $10 to $15, and the rare ones are exorbitant because they're really, really rare. Um, yeah, so I'm Fulton Cards, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and um, and this was a sort of break of a package of the Centennial, uh, Canadian Centennial inks. Uh, yeah, Fulton Cards here, and Fulton Cards out.